Kevy, a great way to finish, especially for Alex. Yeah, particularly for Alex. Um, I know Mills moving and um, Xavier as well, but Alex is 285 games at the club and um, typifies to me what a real Bronco looks like. He gives his all every week and he's had some, some great years here as well um, and captained the club. So, yeah, it was fitting for Alex and I, I thought they really had a good crack today we, um, for him and um, that's what's most pleasing from my end. It's a good springboard for next year, isn't it, Kevy? I mean, you wanted this an emphatic display to finish off the year well, and you, you've done that. Yeah, certainly. Um, today was really, like I said, you know, leading into the into the game, it, it was our most important game of the year that we finished strongly, and then we came away with a win. Uh, with a couple of areas there we weren't quite so good, but I was particularly happy just with the result, getting it for Alex, and also for themselves, building into the into the off season. You're only as good as your last game. I said that. Uh, before the game and um, you know this game will stay with them right throughout the off season so yeah we're very happy uh, very happy for Alex and all those guys that are moving on that they could finish with the win. A bit disappointing though that the injuries though how's, how's Payne and Jake? Uh, yeah Payne um, he's got a high ankle sprain so um, that, that, that's something that can be fixed but don't have to worry too much now we've got a bit of a rest and Jake all indications are that he could have a uh, fractured jaw so that's not not good news um, for, for both of those players but um, I guess the wind sort of smothers that a bit but yeah it's disappointing for those two to finish with, with injuries um, into their into their layoff into their break recovery wise though you, you can't sort of see that no that won't affect anything that we're doing uh, no either into the pre-season or into next year so that's a good thing um, but uh, no yeah no one likes to see players get injured you over the last two months. Do you think you can play finals footy next year, or you're building a team that can be a finals threat? Yeah, well, we, we, our goal next year is to win more games than we lose. So if we do that, we'll we'll be fine. I believe we can. Uh, the ingredients are there, and you know another good strong preseason. Um, we had five guys debut this year for the club, and all those five, I think, you know, Selwyn Cobbo today, um, TC Rabati, certainly Kobe Hetherington. You know, they're all um, they played some great footy for us today. You've got some real finds, haven't you, Kevin Tessie, over the last two months, and Combo yeah. was outstanding. Today. Yeah, certainly. Yeah. Tessie um, just keeps doing things in games that, you know, it's really impressive. Um, and, you know, he's only 10 or 12 games into his NRL career at fullback. So, um, yeah, certainly one to, to, you know, another good pre-season for Tessie and also Selwyn. Um, you know, he's, he's been great for us uh, when, he, when he came into the side. And each week, and you're seeing it, everyone's seeing it, he just likes he just likes getting the footy and, and defensively I thought he did a great job on Best today as well. Um, he's very hard to handle Best and and Selwyn did a great job on him. Yeah, but do you wonder what might have been a bit when you see Milf uh, and just the way he's been playing recent weeks? Just wonder what might have been a little bit if he'd, he'd sort of produced that. Uh, oh few no, earlier. whatever you know, Milf doesn't surprise me with what he does on the field. I, I mean, um, he's that type of player. He's in everything again today for us. That was that was good. Um, it, it was a bit of a tough year for for a lot of players, and Milf's in that category. Um, he's a happy lad in there now, um, and he's off to, to South next year, so they've got a good one. Would you like an ex extended period here, Kev? Because you can see there's been regeneration taking place over the last few months. Would you like to continue on that work? You know, obviously you're off contract next year, but yeah. beyond that, would you like to be here oh, of course longer? I'd be paid, yeah, I, mean, I, I love the place, and I, I, I want to see us grow as a club. As players, um, you know, we've got some great fans, members and sponsors um, and we've had those f for a long time that, and it's we want to give those people joy. That's what I want to do. Uh, we're a big club, we're a, we're a strong club and um, we need to, you know, reward those people that, that support us and, you know, today was a good re reward for those people. Uh, is there more to come? My word, there is. What have you learnt most about the year, Kev, looking back? Uh, the NRL's tough, mate. It's it's tough going. It is, you know, for coaches, players, staff, everyone involved, even the media, you, you guys, it, it's tough. If you don't aim up every week, you get found out. And there were some games this year where we, we weren't where we needed to be and we got we got caught out. But I thought, um, and I know that, you know, there's a different mentality in that dressing room now about, you know, playing for each other and playing for the club and all that the club represents. And that's that's the most pleasing thing for me. It's, it's taken a long time, but I know, you know, from where we started, you know, in in March to where we are now in September, we've made some really good progress. Yeah. Sweet. Thanks, Kev. Well,